Upgrading the sheet winches on Star White was a no-brainer. We went to self-tailers. These are size 30 Lumar two-speed self-tailing winches. Now there are smaller size self-tailing winches from Lumar. There's a size 14 and a size 16. But the size 30 is a two-speed. The size 14 and 16 are single speeds. We like having the two-speed. We also like to have the little extra oomph that 30 to 1 ratio gives us. One thing that a lot of people overlook when they're re-rigging their boat is turning block back here on the cap rail. This allows the sheet to come from the Genoa car to the turning block and then over to the winch. Gives you a much better sheeting angle and you don't have to deal with the line running at an odd angle through the middle of a stanchion or something else. If over wraps on your sheet winches are a problem on your boat, it may have to do with the lead angle of your sheet onto the winch. As can be seen here, the general sheet is running back towards the winch at a down angle. This could lead to an overwrap. Our solution has been the placement of a turning block back on the cap rail here aft of the Genoa track. The line from this turning block then runs forward to and around the winch. What we end up with by doing this is an upward angle on this sheet from the turning block to the winch so that we get a proper feed and we avoid any likelihood of over wraps. Here you can clearly see the upward angle feeding onto the drum from the turning block. This is a good view of the sheet angle that I was speaking of. Here you can see how the sheet is running downward to the turning block, and if it were running to the winch, it would be running downward to the winch, which would lead to over wraps. But by running it back to this turning block and then forward from the turning block, it is coming up and feeding onto the winch correctly. Here's another good view of sheet lead angles. Uh, this one's on the starboard side. But again, you can see how the Genoa sheet is coming at a downward angle. Goes through the turning block and then from the turning block runs upward onto the winch, avoiding any kind of over wraps. We've refit Star White with all self-tailing winches all the way around. Main halyard here, jib halyard on this side, staysail halyard here. Over wraps on the halyard winches can be an issue. You've got such a long lead from the masthead all the way down to the winch. If you have external halyards, that the line tends to want to start on the outside of the drum rather than the inside, and that of course leads to over wraps. A simple fix that we've found and used very successfully is to install one of these bullseyes. They're also called a fair lead. They're inexpensive, they're easy to install. You drill a couple of holes and you screw it onto the mast. But what they do is they hold the halyard in to the mast until you get down above the winch and then it tapers on out onto the drum. We typically mount ours about 12 to 18 inches above the winch itself. They do a very, very good job. This happens to be the one on our main halyard. Here's one over here on the, star, or on the uh, staysail halyard. It's a simple solution and uh, inexpensive as well.